It seems Colorado is breaking records or experiencing a major storm so frequently. Scientists say that is going to continue. So is it time to rethink how we classify big weather events? Denver 7's Megan Lopez explores rethinking how we predict storms. Upper 90s. It feels more the frequent the these days. Could be looking at a new record high today. The current record 97. One Colorado weather record after another being broken. And again, yeah, we could be talking some new record highs. We are absolutely high seeing a new normal in the trends of the number of records we're breaking. It's not just the heat, it's also the drought. Big storms are also becoming more regular. Especially the ones that have a lot of heavy rainfall. Those are becoming more intense and more frequent in Colorado and beyond, and that trend is going to keep continuing as our planet keeps warming. A lot of our systems are being built to withstand 100 year storms, but with climate change intensifying, the air can hold more moisture, making those big events even bigger. The thing to consider in a warming climate is you're essentially just giving it a shot in the arm or, or a jolt of steroids. Climate change is that steroids um, where Events will be more intense and more frequent. We are playing with a, a stacked deck or a loaded die, essentially. So is it time to rethink the classification of those storms? First, let's explain what they are. 100 year storm is a storm that has a chance of happening 1% of the time in any place uh, in any year. So it can happen more than once a century. 100 year storms are determined using historical data on rainfall. But here's the thing. There's no accounting for climate change in the way those were done in the past. Humans are also changing the impact these storms can have on an area. The more we develop, the less open soil there is to absorb all that water. When a planner many years ago or decades ago would have said, OK, this area can withstand a 100 year storm. Well, if that area changed, it may now only be able to absorb a 10 year storm. NOAA scientists are now working to factor climate change into those storm predictions, but it doesn't matter what the actual number value on that storm was. We know that we need to be more proactive and we need to go after the truly worst case scenario and you kind of bump in that direction. So between climate change and our changing infrastructure, it might be time for cities and states to prepare for more than a 100 year storm of the past. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.